What is going on everybody? My name is Connor. You guys can call me Superior. Today I'm going to bring you guys a story. Now, the story that I'm going to be bringing you guys today really isn't one of my brighter moments whatsoever. And there's a reason for that. This is going to be the story of the time I got shit on. And no, I do not mean the time I got shit on playing Call of Duty. I mean I literally got shit on. As in I had another thing's poop all over my body up and down my arms on my clothes everywhere real shit and also if you're not subscribed and you want to sub you know just hit that button and i would love you forever so without further ado let's get into the story so at my house one of my favorite meals or i guess not at my house just at every house one of my favorite meals is a steak dinner whether it be a super expensive steak an okay steak a shitty steak Whatever it be, as long as it has steak in it, I love it. And because I like steak so much, my dad decided to cook steaks one night. And I'm like, okay, that's awesome. I love steak. Can't wait for dinner. So dinner comes around. I eat my steak. My family eats all their steaks. Everyone's eating steak. Everyone's happy. Everyone loves steaks. And um, everyone's in a good mood. But me personally, on my steak... Whenever I have steak, I never like to eat the fat. I only like to eat, like, the really good meat. And I always just kind of eat around the little, like, white fat parts. I don't really like that. So when I finish my steak, minus the fat on it, of course, I decided to give the rest of the fat to my dog. Now, the thing is with my dog, my dog fucking hates me. I don't know what I ever did to my dog or what happened to it. But it does not like me. No matter what I try, if I tell my dog to come, he won't come. My dog hates me. So I thought maybe I could get on his good side and give him a little piece of my steak and then maybe we could become friends again. So my dog eats his steak or the little fat parts around the steak that I gave him and he couldn't have been happier. He was eating that. He loved it. He seemed like the happiest dog in the world. So then the next day comes around and I do my thing. You know, I wake up in the morning. I go to school, whatever, 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 come home, stream, um, and do me. But then after my live stream, after I had a video up and everything like that, I go, I sat down upstairs on the couch and started watching a little bit of television. And then my dog jumps up on the couch and he lays down next to me, which is awesome because my dog never does that because he doesn't like me for some reason. So I couldn't have been happier. I was super happy uh, to see that maybe my dog started to like me again. So then after about five minutes of sitting there, my dog looked at me. He just gave me a weird look and then I smelled something kind of funny. I'm like, oh... Bandit, you must have farted. So I just kind of brushed it off, thought it was a fart, and it was a fart. You know, it was just a normal dog fart. Nothing really too weird about that. Humans fart, dogs fart. It's normal, it smells bad, and it's funny, but everyone farts, even dogs. So about five minutes after I smelled that fart, my dog climbs onto my lap. And at this point, I'm like, fuck yes, I made a new friend. My dog doesn't hate me anymore. Maybe we're taking this relationship to the next level if you know what I mean. So he's just sitting on my lap, you know, I'm petting him. I'm pretty sure I had some spaghetti at the time, so I was eating that, watching some Family Guy. Things honestly could not get any better at the time. So about three minutes later, when I was in a great mood because my dog was friends, I had spaghetti, I was watching a good TV show and all these other things, I start to smell the fart again. And I'm a 17 year old boy, so that automatically means I think farts are the funniest thing in the world. So I didn't really think of anything of it. I'm like, oh, my dog just farted again. Haha, <laughs> funny. Farts are cool. That was kind of my mindset. So then my hand was kind of my side. And then I moved my hand off my side to grab my fork and then start eating more spaghetti. And I felt kind of a wet, like cold sensation. And I'm like, or no, it's kind of like warm. So what is this warm, odd, goopy thing I'm feeling with my hand? And what first went through my head is I thought maybe it was like spaghetti sauce, maybe some ran down the plate and onto my side, maybe just something casual and normal like that. But after a little bit more of investigation, I picked my hand up and I'm like, wait, spaghetti sauce isn't brown. Spaghetti sauce doesn't smell like shit. And spaghetti sauce doesn't come out of my dog's ass. So I immediately realized, okay, maybe not immediately, but like a few seconds later, I realized that my dog had spewed steak leftover shits all over me. The second that I realized this, I stood up, flinging my dog off of the couch and onto the ground. And looking back on it, I could not have done a worse decision because my dog's butt was completely covered in shit also. And so all that shit 
went from the couch in my lap onto the ground. So not only was I covered in shit, but the couch was covered in shit. Not only was I and the couch covered in shit, but the ground was covered in shit. There was literally shit everywhere. I didn't know what to do. I immediately kicked my dog outside so we would stop shitting. I went upstairs to the shower, took off all my clothes, took a nice shower, threw away all of my clothes, even though it was my favorite shirt and favorite shorts I had on. My dog had ruined one of my favorite outfits just because I decided to help him out and feed him some good steak. After I got out of the shower and had some new clothes on, I went downstairs and looked at the mess. And literally the couch was stained with poop. The ground was stained with it. I could not get the smell to go away no matter how much freaking scrubbing on the couch and floor that I did. We actually had to get a new couch because of this because the shit smell would not go away. It was literally inside of the couch. It was it was not going anywhere ever. I'm telling you guys this story for two reasons. First reason, maybe put a smile on your guys' face and say, hey, Superior getting shit on is funny. Second reason, learn from my mistakes. Do not feed your dog leftover steak because you will pay the ultimate price. Supply drop. Fuck you! But I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you guys could do me a favor, hit the thumbs up like button. That'd make my day. And also subscribe if you guys really did enjoy. You know, seven helps out the channel. And we are nearing 30,000 awesome subscribers. And even more importantly, if you guys could drop a comment down below and let me know if you want to see more videos like this, more stories, more uh, live commentaries, kind of like I've been doing for the past few days. And so, if you guys should drop a comment down below, let me know. That'd be super, super awesome. So, like I said, I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.